Well, welcome to the NAB show. We're here to show you A-Frame, the cloud video collaboration platform. I'm Julia, this is my colleague Bruce, and we're gonna be showing you how A-Frame is being used by thousands of video professionals and the biggest media organizations, including Fox, A&E, Vice, and the BBC. Now, A-Frame provides one central location for global teams to manage high-resolution, multi-format video. And the first thing to mention is that it is software as a service. Now, the full power of the product toolset is immediately accessible via the web browser. So wherever you are, you have the true cloud solution. There's no plugins to install. There's no hardware to purchase or to maintain. And there's no complicated deployment processes to get up and running. Now, with that in mind, let's go ahead and log in. Bruce has got us in the dashboard already. All right, so this is my dashboard. It's a simple listing of projects that I have access to. So you can tune user access to content based on projects and collections. We're gonna go ahead and look at that in detail in just a second. Right now we're gonna take a look at the NAB 2015 project. All right, so we're looking at a simple overview of all the video, audio, and project files that I'm currently collaborating around within the project team. Let's go ahead and use the filter. We'll pick out a shot. Now the filter narrows down my view based on the metadata associated with the asset. So finding the asset that matter to me is simple. Let's go ahead and double click the clip, open it up in the reviewer. And as you can see, playback is smooth, it's instantaneous. Now what we're looking at here is an H.264 proxy file with A-Frame automatically transcodes for all original video formats uploaded to our cloud platform. Now there's no caching here. What you're looking at is streaming directly from A-Frame servers. Now even though we're looking at a proxy, it is important to note that any actions that we carry out in the system refer back to the original file which underpins the asset allowing us to keep metadata in sync at all times. All right, so the video is served in an HTML5 player, which means that it'll play on almost any device. Also measures time to a fraction of a second, allowing for full time code support. Now frame stepping and keyword shortcuts. Working with professional video in A-Frame is easy, it's smart, and it feels just like I'm working with content stored on my local hard drive. Now, while I'm watching the video, I can have time code based feedback against specific frames. You'll notice that my comments appear on the marker panel to the right hand side of the player. So I can click on a marker to jump to that specific point in the video. Myself and my colleagues can collaborate around the footage, picking out points of interest or even having a conversation around a piece of video. The markers panel will update in real time without having to hit refresh, meaning that I always have an up-to-date view of the asset and its metadata. Now, the best part is that all of this metadata is fully discoverable in one simple, powerful global search, which makes finding the shot that I need easy. New for NAB, let's go ahead and click into the global search bar, always available anywhere that I go within the application. All right, so I'm looking at all the shots that feature the keyword Canada. A-Frame's search makes finding what I'm looking for an absolute breeze. I can make much more use of my valued assets. So I type in my query, I hit enter, and I'm immediately presented with one unified search page with results ranked in order of relevancy. Now the filter on the right of the page helps me to narrow down my results. So from here, I can preview the asset in the reviewer, or I can jump straight to the project space where it resides. It's also important to mention that with A-Frame, your metadata isn't trapped. At any point, you can export all of your clip metadata, including markers, subclips, and descriptions for use in other systems like Adobe Premiere, Avid, Media Composer, as well as Apple Final Cut. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about project organization and structure. To help order your projects, we use something called collections. Now, collections are effectively top-level tags that you can associate within a group of assets so that you can find them later. You can trigger automated actions against them. Now, they're similar to folders, but they're much less restrictive. All right, how many times have you had to ask someone where something is on a SAN or a local file? Albert's like, yes. A-Frame makes finding your content very easy. Now, one asset can live in multiple collections, all without the pain of duplicating files or accidentally dragging them out of their location, breaking someone's workflow, never a good thing. All right, so Bruce, let's go ahead and put these four clips into a collection and call it Julia's Selects. 
So now that I've got my selects collection up and running, I can add any subsequent assets that I like to it via the collections membership menu. We'll select another clip, we'll add it in. Bruce has been working so hard this whole show for us. Doing a great job, Bruce. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at my collection via the drop down and the filter. And it'll show the assets that we selected. I wanna share those, there they are. Now I wanna show you just how easy it is to share content using A-Frame. Now whether it's the FTP site that crashes or it takes hours to download from, or maybe it's the unsupported codex error message, or the plugin that's required for playback dialog. We've all been there, right? Cursing our computers when we just want to be able to see content without having to jump through a lot of hoops to do so. With A-Frame, I simply select the assets that I'd like to share, enable download to the recipient if it's required, and put in the recipient's email address and hit send. Now the recipient will get an email which contains a link to a secure streaming web link. And when they click on the link, the video will immediately begin playing back, whether that's on a desktop, a laptop, or a mobile device. Now I can even tie approvals to my share links to speed up and to simplify the review and approval process with partners, clients, and stakeholders. Also completely secure. Only the authorized email address assigned as recipient of the link will be able to access the content, review, and provide feedback. Now, as the sender, I can track the status of my share link easily within the project by clicking on the share links link in the navigation bar. On the share links management page, you'll find all of the information that you need to help keep track of shared content, including sender information, recipient information, number of views, and approval status. You can click on the info tab. It'll open up a light box reviewing further details. And for example, anything that I need to gather from the approval process, you can jump straight to the link, see exactly what the viewer will see, and you can force immediate expiration by clicking on the big red button. All right, so we spoke about some of the ways in which A-Frame can help content producers to collaborate on, manage, and share professional video projects. But dealing with professional video inevitably means moving huge, high-resolution files around, right? How does A-Frame help you with this? Well, we created the A-Frame desktop application to make moving large files around simple. It works by mapping a local folder on your hard drive or connected storage to a project on A-Frame. Once that connection is created, the desktop app will run in the background, scanning the watch folder and uploading any file or folders that's been added to it. You can also set up similar roles for downloads so that setting up automated delivery workflows from location to location is easy. Now, Using the simple feature, you and your team can create a self-service model distributing content from multiple offices or maybe you're sending things international region all from one central platform. Now in the middle of these automated media movement workflows, you can set up transcode rules which will convert any file that you put in into one of several broadcast standards. Backed by UDP accelerated file transfer technology supplied by File Catalyst, the desktop app is fast and secure thanks to AES data encryption in transit. Now with such a wide range of tools available for viewing, for managing and collaborating around professional video, we have the opportunity to gain significant insight as well as improve business efficiencies by moving elements of our workflow to the cloud. Now that is why we built in the metrics dashboard and organizations. Now on the new metrics dashboard, Administrators can see storage utilization over time, and they can attribute it to specific projects within the account. And we can also view uploads and download totals on a week-by-week -week basis, which helps us to understand which projects are our most active and which assets are in highest demand within the account. We can also see all of the users currently occupying a seat within the account and the projects on which they are a member. If a user is no longer requires access, then they can be removed from all of their projects right over here. And finally, share metrics show us links created versus views. 
Now this display can be used to really hone in on answering questions like what is our most popular content, when are our sales teams most active, or even which stories matter the most. All from a single easy to navigate dashboard. Now under metrics in the account admin menu, you'll find organizations, now organizations allow IT and operations teams the ability to carve off and allocate seats and storage so that they can manage interdepartment budgets and they can pull together separate teams within their companies to operate under the umbrella of the account. Now that level of control afforded to the administrator runs right through a multi-tier hierarchy, getting at its most granular within the project. All right, let's take a look at the settings page in the NAB Demos project. And if we look at the settings page, we can see a listing of all of the current team members with their access levels and enabled abilities. I, uh, editing these is simple. You just click on the pencil icon next to the user's name, and you can see configure content within a project according to three tiers. Right here we have project-wide access, workspace access, and logger access. Now against these, you can configure a range of abilities via a simple checkbox UI. And the best part of all of this is that all of this incredible functionality sits on top of infrastructure that we own, that we maintain, providing a flexible, scalable platform for truly unrivaled professional video support. The A-Frame Cloud platform uh, has storage and transcode nodes operating on hardware owned by us and administered by our teams, housed in top tier data centers in New York, in Los Angeles, and in London with dedicated networking equipment. Data only leaves our cloud when it is explicitly called out by a user with download permissions enabled. So you can rest assured that your media is safe and secure on A-Frame. Our unique infrastructure also allows us to handle an incredible amount of files from your complex media coming off the back of the camera all the way to your finished masters created at the end of the edit process. Each file is stored on RAID 6 hardware twice in its primary location with a disaster recovery copy held on the opposite side of the country. So it allows for redundancy. We work in collaboration with our customers through direct feedback and agile development to constantly innovate and to improve the services that we provide. So in summary, A-Frame is the most powerful cloud video collaboration platform. Using our solution, you'll be able to reduce complexity and cost, improve productivity across your organization, and create more value from your assets while keeping them secure. So I thank you so much for your time and attention. Please let us know if you'd like a more in-depth one-on-one demo. We do have a demo pod available right over here. You can also find out more at aframe.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the show, everyone. Bye-bye.